Have you ever seen those people where it doesn't really look like they're overweight, but for some reason they have this protruding belly and it doesn't look like they should have it, but for some reason it's there. It's kind of that skinny fat look. Well, sometimes that's just an excess of air, gas, and pressure built up within their abdomen and they can't get rid of it. The reason why there's an excess of gas and pressure built up within the abdomen is because there's nowhere else for it to go when we inhale. Our diaphragm needs to be able to descend and ascend upon inhalation and exhalation respectively. And so does our pelvis and rib cage. So when we breathe in, the front of our rib cage and the back of our rib cage need to expand out as a whole and then come back together upon exhalation. Our pelvis is very similar. This is inhalation, this is exhalation. We have a pelvic floor right here that needs to descend upon inhalation and ascend upon exhalation. Now, if that can't happen, and there's a variety of reasons why this can't happen, but it's generally a blockage of expansion going on within the pelvis itself and within the rib cage. Now, let's try to visualize this for a second. So, here's my pelvis. It's forward in an anterior orientation, and I can't breathe into my rib cage. So, watch what happens. My belly just took all of that air, and then watch me exhale still have a belly that's out because it's the position of my pelvis and a lack of a full exhale to get myself to come back together. So now watch if I get a full exhale after my inhale. I didn't slouch over, I didn't lose any height, but my pelvis was brought back to center because I got a good exhale which restored the ability for me to get this excess pressure out of my abdomen. For another visualization, I had a client consultation that I'll put a picture up right here. The first picture on the left, he thought he was getting a full exhale, but his belly was still protruding out. His measurements, his range of motion did not change after we retested him the first time. The second time, I had him exhale past the point of where I, he thought he wanted to be in a relaxed manner. And that actually helped him to get that stomach to come in, that excess air, gas, and pressure to come out of his abdomen, and his diaphragm was able to work again. And then all of a sudden, he had less pain and his range of motion significantly improved throughout his body. Now, if you think this is you, I have a lot of information out there on different ways uh, to coach and cue a nice, good exhalation that will probably work for you but different people have different things going on. So I can't responsibly give blanket advice out to just the internet world without knowing what's going on with you as an individual specifically. So if you want more individualized attention, feel free to reach out and I'd love to work with you.